Six views. One thing about public speaking, most especially as a government or a public official is that words are interpreted based on their original meaning not what you think but what you say. Femi Adesina, a media expert and the spokesperson to President Mohamedou Buhari on media and publicity tries to interpret what was the original meaning or intention of President Mohamedou Buhari when he said to his host, Governor Hope Uzodima I will be careful with your future invitations during the president closing remark at the just concluded one day working visit to Emo State. Presidency confirmed President Muhammadu Buhari made the statement but Femi Adesina described the media outfits that reported the statement in some manner as purveyors of disinformation that want Nigerians to believe that the president bluntly told Governor Uzodima, I'll be careful with your future invitations. Excerpts of Femi Adesina press release issued yesterday, trying hard to tell the general public the real intention of President Muhammadu Buhari meant by those words are presented thus. What President Buhari said, didn't say, in Emo State. We have observed that President Buhari's concluding remarks at the meeting with South East leaders during his one-day visit to Emo State is being deliberately contorted and twisted out of context. The purveyors of disinformation want Nigerians to believe that the president bluntly told Governor Uzodima, I'll be careful with your future invitations. They have adduced different meanings to the phrase, contrary to the context wherein the president spoke during his successful dialogue with leaders of thought from Igbo land. When he arrived at the banquet hall of Emo State Government House for his last assignment in Awari, the president was welcomed by over 50 leaders from the southeast who had waited patiently for him for a town hall engagement, after commissioning strategic projects in the state. Photo grid shows President Mohamedou Buhari and Emo State Governor, Hope Uzodima at the just concluded presidential one day working visit to Emo State. Photo, Aso Rock slash Government House, Awari. The president began his extempore speech by acknowledging the caliber of personalities present at the dialogue, including the President General of Ones Ndigbo, Professor George Obiazer, former Chief of General Staff, Commodore Ebedu Ukiwe, retired, former Senate President Ken Namani, former military governor in Old Emo State. Senator Akinwachuku, the Obi of Onitsha, Igwe Alfred Achebe, Chairman of the South East Governors Forum and Governor of Eboni State, Dave Umahi, Deputy Governors of Abia, Anambra and the SSG of Enugu State, who represented the Governor, the Anglican Archbishop of Awari Province, Most Reverend David Wanuha and his brother Bishop of Enugu, Archbishop Emmanuel Chikwuma, Chief Emmanuel Iwanyinwu, I.G. Agamben Digbo, just to mention but a few. An elated President Buhari made it clear that he was expressly overwhelmed by the reception and galaxy of personalities that traveled from the five southeastern states to have a heart-to-heart discussion with him in Awari, the Emo state capital. His words were clear. I am overwhelmed by this reception, overwhelmed in the sense that when I accepted the invitation by the Emo state governor, who wants to justify investments the government has done to the people of Emo state, I thought I would see the bridges, the roads and a few renovations. He didn't tell me he was going to get the whole Igbo leadership here. So in the future when he invites me, I'll know what to do. But I think he has done what the military didn't like. He has achieved surprise. He has surprised me beyond description. Later, in his concluding statement at the same event, the president made reference to his earlier remarks on the surprise action pulled by the governor. On a lighter note, he quipped. Governor of Emo State, I cannot thank you enough but I will be careful with your future invitations. The president's historic visit to Emo State was very successful and the Igbo leaders who met him shared the same enthusiasm that his coming to the eastern heartland would bring peace, foster unity, encourage good and better understanding among the citizenry. Kindly support our vision of building a community of one million Penn soldiers whose successes will be judged based on positive development in the society. Buhari du Izodima, I will be careful with your future invitations, Presidency Gives New Meaning September 13, 2021 One thing about public speaking, most especially as a government or a public official is that words are interpreted based, editorial, faith ape assassination theory, pregnancy or no pregnancy is irrelevant September 12, 2021. Early media statement credited to the Edo traditional ruler, Inogi of Yuroho community in the Ipoba Oka local government area, high cost of living, Ondo Government Bans Farmers Associations, other September 9, 2021. Ondo State Governor, Rotimi Akeretalu has banned farmers unions and other associations under the umbrella body of Ondo State United, Tears, 
Buhari must go protest erupt as Olajide Sawar killed by suspected herdsman buried September 9, 2021. Olajide Sawar, the younger brother to the publisher of Sahara Reporters, Omoil Sawar killed on Saturday by suspected herdsman while returning, that slash Nambikanu slash Buhari visit, evidence is there that Igbos are in charge of Nigeria economy, Buhari September 9, 2021. President Muhammadu Buhari has said that the people of Igbo origin are the ones in charge of Nigeria economy. President Muhammadu